Hey YouTube, I've been pretty sick. I don't know, you can probably tell. Um, but that's why I haven't made any videos. But this one, I got a comment <clears throat> on my first video about finishing nursing school from TDWRH. And she was asking for me to talk about the whole program itself and just advice for people who want to become LPNs. Um, I have to say, make sure you find a program that fits you. I went to a self-paced learning program. Self-paced can mean so many different things no matter where you live. I, I didn't know that. I live in Oklahoma right now for school and found out that there's like three different types of self-paced learning here. I went to one where it's open entry, open exit, which literally meant that, but we had requirements. We had to make 24 hours a week. Class is only open from 7.45 in the morning till 3.15 in the afternoon. There's a one hour lunch break mandatory from 11.30 to 12.30. So there was a lot going on. Um, sorry, I have strawberries and they're so good. Um, but, so, yeah, th just find the program that works for you. I also found that my school where I went, they had a scholarship called the Next Step Scholarship. And that just covers your tuition fees, which doesn't sound like a lot to some people and to some people it is i get no financial aid i don't get any money from the government whatever you want to call it um so that covered the majority of my costs at at our school we pay they add in the cost of your NCLEX. sorry they add in the cost of your NCLEX, and uh they break it up I think the NCLEX payments are the $59 payments. Then we also have ATI fees, and those are $47.50, but it might be the other way around. But no matter what, you do six months at our school of paying $59 plus your tuition, then six months of paying $47.50 plus your tuition. And after that, it's just your tuition, unless you get the Next Step Scholarship, where you have to be uh, 24 and under to receive that. Um, 22. But uh, it helped a lot. I would be paying almost $200 a month if I didn't get the next step. So thank you for that. Um, so let's see. At our school, we did not need to do the point system thing where you are like given points based on your experience, your classes you may have taken at a community college. None of that. It's just background check, shots up to date, uh, just the basics. And put your name on the waiting list. I waited 11 months. Now people are only waiting three months. I have to say, if you're on a waiting list, please make sure nursing school is what you want to do. Please do not go in there and quit after two days because you didn't like what you saw. There are people that want this. There are people that want your spot. It upsets me when I see these new kids that start after th after waiting on the list for one to three months and they stop after one week. Well, there was somebody else that now has to wait an entire month to start nursing school that may have wanted to start, but you took their spot and you wasted it. So that's just my little rant. I waited 11 months and in my group of eight people that started, only two people finished myself and somebody else so yeah um let's see she also wanted to know advice for aspiring LPNs well I'm not an LPN yet but one day uh if you have ever 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 been uh what's the word I'm looking for accused no charged if you've ever been charged you may not have been convicted you may not it may have been expunged even if it has been expunged please do not forget to mention that to your director at your program to somebody who can help you a teacher you will need to write a letter to your board of nursing even if you think it has been expunged you'll still need to write a letter I'm just telling you now I've seen it happen where people thought they didn't have to and their application gets rejected and it takes so much longer for everything to process. So, that's that. Um, if you can, buy used books. I'll put links in the description of where I bought my books. Now my first set of books, I did buy from the school, but after that, 
Um, everything was bought on the internet, everything. And, and it helps also if uh, you're in a self-paced program like me, you can sell your books to other students after you're done with them. Just make sure you don't want to use them to study from again. I mean, because then you've got no book to study from. Um, I'm sorry, they're really good strawberries. But, um, make friends. Make some really good friends. You go through so much shit in nursing school. Not crap, not problems. You go through a lot of shit in nursing school. Life will hit you hard, okay? So, get a group of friends that you can study with. You don't need to be friends with everybody. Life isn't perfect. You're not going to like everybody. Just find at least one or two people that you can sit down and just relax with, but still study. You need to have somebody there um, who's going through the same thing as you, who can understand the whole nursing school stresses and whatnot. Um, don't miss school. Do not miss it. Do not miss your clinicals. Ever. One thing I really recommend, type everything if you can. Save it in your email, save it on your computer, do it on both. Save it on a flash drive, SD card, anything, everything. I save stuff on my camera's SD card, my flash drive, my computer, my email, my school email, my school computer thingy, my bobber, and on my phone. I saved everything in all of those locations and it saved my ass to do that because at the end of nursing school they lost one of my most important assignments and all I had to do was go back print it off so big tip right there save everything do not whatever you do I've got an attitude do not talk back to your teachers to a student if you have a team leader uh, or like if you've got somebody who's we've got team leader clinicals where uh, you'll go out a group of clinicals maybe five students and one student five or six students one student is basically like the charge nurse of the group and they will say okay so and so you're gonna do vitals here you're gonna do vitals here you're gonna do vitals here and you're gonna do vitals here well don't talk back to that person because for the purpose of that clinical they are your charge nurse you listen to them uh, another thing is none of these none of this stuff fake nails no don't wear it nail polish don't wear it excessive makeup don't wear it color in your hair if, if a baby can't be born with it don't wear it Shoes that are not white unless otherwise specified in your school's handbook, don't wear them. Wrinkled scrubs, don't do it. Come to school smelling like anything and everything other than a clean person, do not do it. Hygiene is important, okay? Clean your ass, brush your teeth. Don't smell like liquor, don't smell like weed, cigarettes, anything other than a clean human being. Um, your classmates don't want to smell it, your teachers don't want to smell it, and your patients sure in the hell don't want to smell it when they're nauseated and sick and about to vomit from something else that's only going to put them over the edge with that. Mm -hmm. Well, if you feel that I've missed anything, comment down below and let me know. And as always, have a nice day.